Hello YouTube, we are here again. It's been just over 24 hours since I unloaded the last Blaze Kiln load and I immediately loaded it up again um, because I've just been crazy, blazing like crazy. And so we are ready to open up this kiln. I have it already open because again, it is really hot here in Washington state right now. It's in the 90s. And so just to get it to cool off faster, had to get it open. So it's probably still a little bit warm, but because I need some of these items for a street fair that I will be at this weekend, uh, I just gotta get this stuff packed up. So hopefully it's not too warm. The stuff at the top seems to be cold enough. I'm sure it'll get a little bit warmer further down in the kiln. But uh, yeah, let's get unloading. All right, so we're gonna start it off. Uh, if you saw in the last video, I had talked about the white glaze and how I was having problems um, with it chipping on the edges and that I'm pretty sure it's a dust issue, um, but this one's got it on the rim. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, that kind of stinks. Um, at this point, I'm like getting pretty close and ready to just like pitch this glaze just in case it is the glaze itself. Um, however, like I said in the last video, I've had a lot of this stuff sitting out for a while um, because I made it in such large batches that I didn't get it all glazed immediately. So it was sitting out on shelves. My husband does woodworking. So it could... Yep. I wrote my sign. One oh, moment. Oh, the culprit. Okay, so yeah, I'm momming it, and uh, and uh, yeah, trying to get this unloaded. So, uh, kids, it is. Um, as I was saying, um, anyhow, white glaze. Not even sure where we were at. Um, ready. During one of the classes, I had. Uh, one of my students wanted to learn to make a butt planter, so I made an example butt planter. So we've got a butt planter, a nice, <laughs> a nice booty. Um, we've got a few different um, two-inch planters. I overmade for my last wholesale order. Um, just because it was such a large order that I literally couldn't keep track of things and ended up over making a few things. So I just decided to glaze them so that I can bring them to the market. So I've also got some four inch ones in the classic white. These all are looking good. No chipping or anything. The glaze is looking mighty fine. No pinholing or anything. Looks great. I love the way on these swirl planters. I have a couple of these in my house and I love them. So a few of these and one in the modern shape. And then looks like we've, oh yeah. This is, um, this was a test mug that would be going to Flock Fiber Festival in Seattle in August. Um, so it looks like this didn't quite come out as I was hoping, so I did an impression of a um, knit-looking stamp, um, but it looks like it didn't come out all the way. Um, Abby, come here. The glaze is a little bit too thick. You can just slightly see it there in some spots, but it uh, this batch of glaze seems to be a little bit thicker. Um, so this one didn't exactly come out as I planned, but that's why we do this. Um, I did a few different half dipped items, um, because I just love this combo. It never gets old. Um, I did some half dip tumblers where I just dipped the first half. And then I did some half dip snack bowls where I dipped half of it like vertically like that. Um, so yeah, loving the half dip. I know there's more down below. I've got to move some kiln shelves real quick. So hold on. 
All right, so it's definitely getting warmer as I go down in the kiln, so I got my handy dandy little of glove situation here. Uh, but I've got some more half dip bowls and another tumbler. Oh, I can see another one here. Ta -da. And then I did a couple that are like uh, half dip, like sideways. And I love it because you get to see the clay too. Um, I definitely want to try and do some of these with the red or brown clay, um, just because it have some nice contrast, kind of like what I did with the vases in my last video. So we've got some more tumblers. This is the first, or no, is it the second? I think this is the first, no. No, it's the second, okay. We had the first candlestick in the last video. We've got some more in this video. Um, these are the ones that we did in the Great Pennington Throwdown series. And then I've got, let's see, we've got another two inch planter. And these seem to turn out good from what I'm seeing so far. Cross my fingers as I pull it out. We've got yarn balls. And these will be going to Flock Fiber Festival. I am so excited about these. It looks like they didn't warp at all, which happens a lot with this cut edge. It will end up sinking down. Um, and yeah, that looks good. I like it. I did it with some dark brown clay just to give it some contrast. And I did these, most of them, I think, in just white. I have more to glaze still, and I'm sure more to make. Um, but... There's something about that classic white. This is cute, I like it. So I've got a few more of these. I did some in a little bit larger size and then some in a little bit smaller. Oh, there's that red clay again, I love it. This red, I think, has my heart. So we have the larger size and the smaller size. Oh yes, okay. So I made myself a serving bowl. I really wanted one with the white and the red clay. And it is just so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, so, so pretty. So I've got this one, which is mine. And then I've got a few different two-piece sets here. So here's one of them. Just super cute and classic. Looks like the blaze peeled away just a tad there. Probably just some dust, but I don't mind that. It kind of gives it some character. I've gotten over a little bit of my perfectionism with the pottery. Um, yeah, I like it. This is a cute combo. Ta-da! We've got the rest of our candlesticks here. These are the more ornate set that I tried out, um, and I like them. Hello, Amazon. Okay. Then I have the uh, like bubble set. I don't know really what it's called, but a more like modern take on the candlestick, and I really like these ones. Definitely like these ones. This one's kind of an in between. I have a little bit of like a flare lip there, um, but yeah, I think these ones are my favorite. So I'm gonna move these and get down to another shelf. All right, so we've got some more mini planters, some in the modern shape, some in the roundy, and some in the swirl. All in plus white. And then I've got the half dip tumblers, two more of those that were on that last shelf. We've got some more half dipped white tumblers. And there is this one as well, but this one's going to have to be sold either as a second. It doesn't look like it went all the way through, but there is a little crack at the base of this. Fine on the end side, but it looks like it probably just dried a little bit too fast, which is definitely happening right now. Like I said, it's hot here. And so I have to work pretty hard to get the uh, dry times slower. So I'm not surprised by it, but it is what it is. So I've got one more uh, serving bowl set. Um, the top one looks good. And this is with the red clay. Um, the bigger one does have a crack, which I saw in the bisque. Um, again, it was just drying so fast. I had a board of pottery that 
it got dry way too quickly. Um, so that's just going to happen sometimes. Um, so yeah, it does, it again, doesn't go all the way through. So could probably still be sold as a second. Um, someone will give it a little bit of love for the life it has. I've got two more berry bowls here. These are the wider flare ones. And these ones I didn't put any uh, handles on or carve them in like you might have seen in the last video. Um, but I just kind of wanted to keep these ones simplistic. They're pretty, they're pretty small. So there's not really a huge need for any handles on them. Um, but yeah, just some flared berry bowls. I've got two more of the berry bowls with handles. And I think that's it for the berry bowls. One last yarn bowl in this batch. Um, it looked like there was maybe a little bit of movement with this. Uh, you can maybe see it a little bit more this way with the lip. Um, but it looks like this is more something that happened during carving uh, because obviously you're manipulating the clay, you're moving the clay, and clay has a memory to it. And so it's going to try and go back to uh, wherever it was placed before. So last of the yarn bowl and then I've got one more bowl and one last bowl this is a popcorn bowl for someone in our bible study group um his wife accidentally broke his while he was on vacation and so she wanted to get him a new one and so of course I said I'd make him one so popcorn bowl for his Sunday evening popcorn all right you guys that was 56 pieces in total for this kiln load and I have to say there's something beautiful about opening an all white or nearly all white kiln load. Just the simplicity of it, you really get to appreciate the forms of the pieces and the clay itself. And of course, the beautiful white glaze. So I'll give you a little overview of some of the pieces. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, most of these pieces will be going with me to the Arlington Street Fair. Hopefully if you're local, you'll have been able to come out and visit with us. And again, some of these things will be going to Flock Fiber Festival in August. So I hope to see you there and thanks for watching. Bye.